Do you know the number one reason people never stick to going to the gym or a workout routine? Well, I'm going to share with you the answer to that in just a moment, but for now, I want to talk to you about moving with purpose. My name is Jonathan Mead, and I'm on a mission to help uh, start a new movement, a new way of approaching fitness, physical culture, and training, and I want to help you actually enjoy it more. I want to, I want to help you move in a way that's leveling up your life, not just going to a gym in this fluorescently lit box and mindlessly repping out, um, you know, weights and having no real reason why you're doing it. I mean, would you rather do this? Or this? Now, I think the answer to that is simple. Most people will want to do the second, but the way most of us train is that we're kind of just training for the aesthetics. We're training to look fit, to look good, and hopefully to you know be in better shape uh, so you don't die as fast as everyone else. You know, like that's the reason why most people go to the gym is they're motivated by not dying a little bit, uh, a little bit you know, more slowly, right? Just slowing down the process. That's their whole mindset. But that doesn't get you results. It doesn't give you skills. It doesn't transfer into you being able to be more useful to the people in your life and to be able to be more prepared for, you know, maybe uh, there's an emergency situation. You need to be able to jump over something or climb something. You know, you're not really doing those movements when you're at a gym. You're not really using your body in the way that you would like it to be capable of being used. And the law of specificity, the said principle, is specific adaptation to imposed demands. And if you're going like this, you know, all day in a gym or going like this, that's not really being specific to the things that you might actually wanna use your body for in the real world. And that is where we got off track, right? We divorced movement from purpose. We used to have to move in order to survive, in order to get food, you know, in order to run away from predators, um, and also just to play, you know, and to dance and as a form of community and bonding. That's a big part of movement as well. But as adults, we've lost that sense of play. We've lost that sense of purpose and we've outsourced our movement to other people to do it for us. And the problem with that is then we go into these gyms and we don't even know why we're there. You know, I've been in the gym recently and I just look around and everyone seems like they're just suffering. And I call the gym now the place where adults go to suffer because that's for the most part, the way it is. It's just kind of the paradigm actually. Most people accept it as just this template of that's how it is. You're not supposed to have fun. You're not supposed to enjoy it. But that is total BS. It's not true. You're meant to move with purpose. You're meant to move in a way where you're gaining new abilities and you're excited about the path that you're on. It's making you a stronger person. It's making you a better person in your life. So earlier in this video, I asked you, what is the number one reason people don't stick to their workout routines? Now, there's probably a lot of answers to this question, but I believe the number one reason is because it's boring. It's boring. There's no real incentive to do it other than, you know, that vague sense of staying in shape or being healthy or not dying. Um, that's, that's about it. And who in their right mind would want to stick with that? There's no pleasure involved. There's no sense of reward other than maybe lifting a little bit better um, a little bit more weights. So a better approach is a skill-based approach to your training. So think about the type of skill that you would want to develop. You know, if you could be like in a video game and controlling your own character, choosing your own character and, you know, creating that character, designing it, uh, giving it different skill sets and abilities, um, what kind of character would you want to be? Now, it may sound a little bit dorky or hokey, but you can do that in real life, you know? If you wanna become like 
uh, a parkour badass, you know, someone that can jump over things and jump long distances and run from one distance to another really quickly and efficiently and do flips and stuff. Um, you can you can learn that you can do that if you want to be a ninja or a warrior you know and have that sort of class you can do that too there's ways of training that will help you get better at martial arts and being a warrior if you want to be you know a great dancer or a great performer entertainer there's ways of designing your movement practice and your training to get better at those things so I encourage you with whatever you know path you want to go down this is choose your own adventure to think about what is the type of character I'd want to create in the real world and what are some of those attributes what are some of those skills that I'd want to be able to possess maybe it's climbing really well so you could incorporate a lot of upper body pulling into your workouts maybe it's you know um, you want to just be able to do cool tricks and flips. So you might incorporate more explosive jumping and deadlifts and heavy squats uh, in your workouts to help you get better at that. The whole point is choosing skills and then designing your training to focus on you getting better at those skills. And that's a much more motivating way to train. Um, it's a much more purposeful way to train. And I encourage you at the beginning of every workout, Take you know, a minute or two, it doesn't have to be long, but just take a minute or two to remember why you're training. Why are you doing this? You could be doing anything right now. You know, what is your deepest reason for training, for practicing? Is it for your family? Is it for having a stronger body, a stronger vehicle for delivering your purpose to the world? What is that reason for you? If you get clear on that, it becomes very um, much more difficult to not show up, right? Because you're thinking like, I'm letting these people down or, you know. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope that you apply it to your training, to your workout routine, to your practice. And with that said, I'd love for you to thumbs up this video. I would love for you to leave a comment down below. Tell me one thing that you learned from this. Tell me one thing that you're excited about. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. And you know, I'm making new videos all the time and I'm creating a new series right now all about moving heroically, all about moving with purpose. And you're gonna get a lot out of it. So I encourage you to subscribe to get those videos that are coming up. And with that said, Go move now, move like you mean it.